Towards the end of 2013, as the Mars rover Curiosity drove towards the base of Mount Sharp, it encountered a big challenge, the difficulty of Martian soil. The sharp rocks have caused a great deal of panic as they wore and tore the wheels of the rover. While Curiosity is diligently serving us to this day, the conversations on how to improve the wheel design are held on a daily basis. How could we increase the efficiency of the wheels? How much lighter can we make the design? And most importantly, how do we decrease the wear during missions that last years on part? In this video, we will look at a bionic approach to these problems. Bionics is the application of biological methods and systems found in nature to the study and design of engineering systems and modern technology. One of the early examples of it is the study of birds to enable human flight, which was successfully achieved by the Wright brothers in 1903. Today, we can see biological inspiration all around us in forms like Velcro, high-speed trains or tire treads. African ostriches have a robust, long-lasting and high-speed running ability in sun environment, very similar to the conditions on Mars. The researchers at Jilin University in China have looked at the structure and posture of ostrich toe traveling on sand to design four kinds of bionic walking wheels. The experiments have shown that the herringbone pattern that uses multiple posture wheel legs had the highest traction on slippery sand, but unfortunately the design is not suitable for driving backwards, as the wheels would just dig into the ground and get stuck. Many scientists have attempted to create rolling robots similar to BB-8 droid from Star Wars. Such mode of movement is very rare in nature. With the exception of tumbleweed, the rolling motion is a secondary form of movement. The majority uses passive rolling, which uses things like gravity or wind to roll. The other type of rolling, one that is more applicable to robots, is active rolling. This is when the organism uses its own energy to propel itself into the motion. There are only two such known examples in nature, mother of pearl caterpillar and Nanoskila de Sempsinosa shrimp. Rolling movement that uses a principle of mobile masses was found to be the most flexible and best suited for an environment like Mars. The main principle of the design is the movement of masses along radial axles inside the sphere to alter the center of gravity and therefore change the direction of movement. Another team at Jilin University has investigated a number of biological patterns and applied them directly to the Curiosity rover scenario. The experiments have shown that convex and scale-like patterns on wheels yielded the best results regarding mass loss and energy consumption. The scale-like patterns are the basis of the work done by the PhD researcher Sunil Dillon, who will now introduce his work. We are basically researching into the Curiosity rover wheel in order to make improvements upon it. So we want to improve upon its tractive performance, so the tractive efficiency, and its durability. Firstly, I'll be increasing the diameter of the wheel so I can reduce sinkage and slip as well. And that will be able to increase the traction on Martian soil. Once I've done that, I'll be able to basically provide a lot of biological patterns. This would be focusing into scale-like patterns. So we'll be focusing on pangolin scales being one because they're incredibly durable. They're so strong, actually, they're able to withstand a bite from a lion but whilst maintaining the yield strength of the scales. Shark scales as well, because sharks can actually self-clean by the biological patterns of the scales. And then also crocodile scales is also another one as well. Okay, so, um, so those are three that we have in mind so far. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be other scales along the way, so maybe perhaps with snakes even, uh, and maybe other forms of lizards as well for that matter. Um, so uh, yeah, it's going to be a variety of different scale patterns. As you can see, there is continuous research done on the Mars rover wheels. However, research into the animal scales won't only help us create stronger and more efficient wheels, but it could also be used in other areas. For example, take the shark scale Sunil has mentioned. Their self-cleaning capabilities could help develop self-cleaning windows and their low drag could be useful in designing more efficient boat holes. My target audience is pre-university students. 
I had to develop to the audience by not dwelling too deep into technicalities and try to give an overview of the topic using exciting examples and engaging visuals. I try to interest the audience with the topic to the point that they may research further after watching the video. Judging by the feedback from my younger brother, I think I achieved my goal as some sections of the script have interested him enough to the point where he made extra research on the topic.